Safe Care COVID-19 Antigen Rapid Test Kit for Nasal or Nasopharyngeal Test Procedure. Allow the test device and specimens to equilibrate to room temperature, 15 to 30 degrees Celsius or 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, prior to testing. The kit box consists of package insert, sterilized swabs, extraction tube, extraction buffer, test cassettes and workstation. Test Procedure Put extraction tube on the workstation, unscrew the lid of an extraction reagent, add all of the extraction buffer into the extraction tube. Sample Collection Take the swab out of the package. Nasopharyngeal Swab Sampling Tilt the patient's head back, insert the swab through the nostril that presents the most secretion under visual inspection. Keep the swab near the septum floor of the nose while gently pushing the swab into the posterior nasopharynx. Rotate the swab several times. Leave the swab in place for several seconds. Slowly remove it from the nasopharynx. Nasal Swab Sampling Tilt the patient's head back. Insert the swab into one nostril of the patient up to 2.5 cm from the edge of the nostril. Roll the swab inside the nostril five times or more. Then remove the swab to the other nostril and repeat the previous action. Make sure that an adequate sample is collected from both nasal cavities. Slowly remove the swab from the nasal cavity. Specimen Preparation Insert the swab into the extraction tube which contains reagent. Rotate the swab at least 10 times while pressing the swab against the bottom and side of the extraction tube. Pinch the extraction tube with fingers and roll the swab head against the inside of the extraction tube when you remove it to release as much liquid as possible. The extracted solution will be used as test specimen. Insert the dropper tip to the extraction tube tightly. Put the tube back to the workstation. Open the sealed pouch and take out the test cassette. Place the test cassette on a dry, flat surface. Hold the tube vertically upside down over the sample well. Add three drops into the sample well by gently squeezing the sides of the tube. Start the timer and wait for colored lines to appear. Interpret the test results at 15 minutes. Do not read results after 20 minutes. Interpretation of the results. Positive result. Two lines appear. One colored line appears at the control region C and the other line appears at the test region T. Negative result. One color line appears at region C and no line appears at the test region T. Invalid result. Control C line fails to appear. Insufficient specimen volume or incorrect procedure are the most likely reasons for control line failure. Review the procedure and repeat the test using a new test cassette. Disposal. All parts of the test kit should be discarded according to federal, state and local regulations. Limitation. The procedure is limited to provide a qualitative detection. The intensity of the test line does not necessarily correlate to the concentration of the antigen in the specimens. Negative results do not preclude SARS-CoV-2 infection and should not be used as the sole basis for patient management decisions. A physician must interpret the results in conjunction with the patient's history, physical findings, and other diagnostic procedures. False negative result can occur if the quantity of SARS-CoV-2 antigens present in the specimen is below the detection threshold of the assay, or the virus has undergone minor amino acid mutations in the target epitope region recognized by the monoclonal antibodies utilized in the test.